Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, we will understand what virtual memory is all about. Consider an application that you want to execute. All the code and data for that executable will be stored on the hard disk. There could also be other stored dynamic link libraries that the executable may import during execution. Here's what happens when you double-click on an application's icon to execute it. The executable and relevant libraries would be brought from the hard disk into the RAM or physical memory. All the required data is handled in fixed-size chunks called pages. These pages would be found scattered throughout physical memory. All the active applications on the computer would have its data in the RAM. For easy management, all the pages belonging to a process are organized in virtual memory. Contents of virtual memory are not a copy of the contents in physical memory. Instead, a mapping is maintained by the operating system for the location of each page in physical memory and virtual memory. Virtual memory can be thought of as an organized view of all the pages relevant for an application. Each application on a computer has its own virtual memory. One application cannot view the contents of another application's virtual memory. The virtual memory used by in process is formally referred to as virtual address space. Now, I will tell you why reverse engineers must know about virtual memory. There have been instances where malware would inject malicious code and malicious libraries into a process by compromising its virtual memory. Virtual memory could also be manipulated to escalate privileges and implement anti-debugging techniques. These are some of the APIs used by Windows processes to manage virtual memory. If you suspect that an executable exhibits malicious behavior, it would be a good idea to investigate if the sample employs any virtual memory manipulation tactics. I hope you have a good idea now about what virtual memory is and its significance in malware reverse engineering. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!